In League of Legends, a champion's movement speed value is a way of representing how many units they can move within one second. The units used for movement speed measurement are the same used to measure auto attack range and ability cast range for every champion. Every champion has a base movement speed value between 300 and 330 units per second. However, this amount can be changed in multiple ways. Because of this, there is an equation that is used in order to change a champion's movement speed based on the events that happen in the game. Movement speed is calculated using the following formula. A champion's movement speed is equal to their base movement speed plus any flat movement speed bonuses they have, such as the 50 movement speed granted by the Boots of Speed item or the 310 movement speed granted by Kennen's Lightning Rush ability. This amount is then multiplied by 1 plus any bonus movement speed percentages the champion has, such as the 8% movement speed bonus from the Force of Nature item, or the 40% movement speed bonus from Master Yi's Highlander ability. This amount is then multiplied by 1 minus any slow percentages that are in effect. These are commonly caused by an enemy champion's ability, such as Dr. Mundo's Infected Cleaver, which is a 40% slow. Since all slows are percentage-based and not flat reductions, this prevents a champion's movement speed from reaching zero or going into the negatives. Here's a possible scenario as an example. Rise has a base movement speed of 310 units per second. Let's say he buys Sorcerer's Shoes. This item has a flat movement speed bonus of 70. Therefore, his movement speed will be increased to 380 units per second. If he then buys a Force of Nature, which grants an 8% movement speed bonus, the value of 380 will be multiplied by 1.08. This means Rise's movement speed will equal 410.4 units per second. Keep in mind that the 0.4 movement speed is still taken into account by the game's internal logic, even if the displayed value is an integer. So at this point in time, Rise's movement speed is 410.4. If he is hit by a level 1 champion with the Blessing of the Lizard Elder buff, which results in an 8% slow, his movement speed will decrease to 377.568 units per second. One important thing to note is that even though the bonus percentage and the slow percentage were both 8%, Rise's movement speed did not remain at 380. There was in fact a decrease of 2.432 units per second. This is because all movement speed bonuses are applied before slows are applied. This is why in the above example there is a decrease in movement speed. To put it simply, since the bonus percentage is applied before the slow percentage, the slow percentage has a greater value to effect than the bonus percentage does. Now that we've learned more about how the equations come into play, let's use an interesting example. Kennen has a base movement speed of 310 units per second. Just to keep things simple, let's assume he has no movement speed bonuses or slows applied to him at this point in time. His lightning rush ability grants a flat movement speed bonus of 310. Now, if Kennen uses this ability, one would assume that his movement speed would equal 620 units per second. However, there are a few secondary systems that come into play if a champion's movement speed reaches certain amounts. If a champion's movement speed is greater than 415 and less than 490, it is multiplied by 0.8 and increased by 83. If a champion's movement speed is greater than 490, it is multiplied by 0.5 and increased by 230. Also, if a champion's movement speed is less than 220, it is multiplied by 0.5 and increased by 110. Therefore, returning to our second example, since Kennen's Lightning Rush ability gives him a movement speed greater than 490 units per second when used, his movement speed of 620 is then multiplied by 0.5 and increased by 110, resulting in a movement speed of 420 units per second. However, this new value still falls into another system. Since Kennen's new movement speed is greater than 415 and less than 490, it is multiplied by 0.8 and increased by 83, resulting in a final movement speed of 419 units per second. There is one more major system that comes into play regarding when more than one slow is applied to a single champion. Here's another example to demonstrate how the system works. Let's say Timo is at his base movement speed of 305 units per second. He's then hit by Caitlyn's 90 caliber net, a 50% slow, and Lulu's Glitter Lance, an 80% slow. Since Glitter Lance is greater slow than 90 caliber net, its slow is fully applied to Teemo. However, 
90 caliber net will only slow Teemo at 35% effectiveness. This is because whenever a champion is hit by multiple slows, the greatest slow percentage remains unaffected, while any lesser slows are reduced to 35% their normal slowing power. This concludes this episode of LOL Math. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of LOL Math, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Thanks for watching!